Shalom, y'all, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. The honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharala. Call Holoyim Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Haraka Kwadash, for blessing our elders with spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwaf that's keeping the faith and the work. Y'all keep at it. This is your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. This is the book of Obadiah, verse 1. It says, The vision of Obadiah, thus saith Yahweh Power, concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? All right, which has basically been the mindset of the daughter of Babylon since its birth. All right, and now they are starting to see a decline. All right. And that decline is due to various reasons, man. One reason, um, the division. Now, this place has always been divided into in the two parts, right? But those two parts really stood for one, right? If both parties stood for the improvement of the daughter of Babylon. But it has gotten so now that it's division within division within division, <laughs> right? This place is divided all the way down to individual thoughts, right? And individual perception of what's real and what's not, what's truth and what's lies. It's beyond a party, right? So let this sound bite play. I'll be right back. But in the end, all will benefit in better homes, better communities, a better America as our heritage to the future. You may not be old to remember it, but in the 1950s, the United States was the undisputed world leader. It wasn't even close. We helped liberate many nations in two separate world wars. Our nation was rich, wholesome, and motivated. There was excitement all over the place, and national pride was higher than it had been since the end of the American Revolution. It didn't matter if it was in the big cities or in the exploding suburbs. Most of the country was happy, healthy, in good spirits, and relatively well off. Today, that is not the case. Many of us are depressed, unhealthy, broke, worried, overworked, underpaid, and super negative. We are a divided nation now, and our power is waning fast. Since recorded history, this planet has seen superpowers rise, rule, and then fall. The Romans, the Greeks, the Assyrians, the Egyptians, the Babylonians, the British... There have been a lot of books written about the fall of once great empires. Each is unique in its demise. The question is, are we next? Look around. The signs are all around us. Our people sleep on the streets. Our young generation is broke and refusing to work and start a family. A lot of our good jobs are gone, and many of our former great cities are crumbling. Our population growth peaked. We're divided politically. We're getting fatter, and we're getting poorer. Our teachers, our nurses, and our police officers are overworked and underpaid. It's not a bright future. Look around you. There's a lot of signs that indicate our empire is close to coming to an end, if it hasn't already. The decades of U.S. dominance in trade, culture, and morality is threatened. You could say we're just an above-average nation now. All right. And the surrounding nations are seeing that which is giving them the gusto to do what they're doing today. That's why China is behaving how they're behaving. Russia is behaving how they're behaving. Iran, North Korea, so forth and so on, man. The respect that this place used to have, they don't have that no more. 
All right. So that means that the power is shifting. But see, what these surrounding nations believe is that they're next. But the truth of the matter is they're not. <laughs> All right. This is the end of Edom's reign that we're witnessing, that the world is seeing that they can't quite put their finger on why and what's going on. All of this is spiritual, right? And I know a lot of the most highest people do not believe this. They refuse to, but it's because of you. It's because of us, right? These people have put their hand on the wrong people and have been bamming us up for hundreds of years thinking that it was okay. That's pride, right? And the Most High got a judgment for that pride, right? But the individuals whose hands we're in is Edom, right? Let me go to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 31 says, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith Yahweh, power of hosts, for thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up, and I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. Right? This place is on the decline, and it's declining fast, man. I mean, real fast. And like I said before, it's because of who they have in their possession and how they refuse to do right by the Most High's people. They even now making it personal with Yahweh. Right? Let me go to the book of Psalms. Psalms 83, um, verse 1, it says, A song or a psalm of Asaph, Keep not thy silence, O power, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. These people never loved Yahweh, right? Even though Yahweh gave them the world, you know what I'm saying? Script says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? All right? Not understanding that the reason why they got the earth in the first place was a punishment for us. All right? And yeah, they got to get that back, man. Now they talking about, you know, banning the scriptures. It's they 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 moving beyond us. And trying to make it a personal thing against Yahweh. Right? Seeing as though they can't do nothing with Yahweh, it's going to come right back on us. And when they put their hands on the Most High's people, the remnant of the Most High's people, right? The ones that put their life on the line to preach this word, right? The ones who face ridicule for preaching this word and for standing on the word. It's a wrap for this place, man. It's already going down. These are the final stages of hell. All of the prayers of our forefathers that were on the bottom of them ships when they were getting drugged over here, all of the prayers of our forefathers that were hanging in trees and they were getting their backs whipped in, they're starting to come true. They're starting to be answered. Right? It says... They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. All right? And like I said, once they put their hands on, on the most highest hidden ones, it's a wrap. All right? Let me go to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 16. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 18, it says, Pride goeth before destruction and a hearty spirit before a fall. Can't get more proud than these people, man. You cannot get more proud than these individuals. They, they are so proud, they brainwash 
the majority of the most highest people to rationally defend this place. So when the word really come out and those individuals hear it, they literally get mad at the word and the, and the person that's bringing that word out. Man, we done came so far. We can do this. We can do that. We can do this. I can go here and I can have sex with this person if I want to and I ain't got to worry about that. Man, you really think your forefathers were praying for that? Hell no. Nah. They were praying for the end of this place, man. They were not praying to get along and be one and build up in this place. That, that wasn't it. They were trying to go back home. Right? They were trying to get away from this from this devil. Them the prayers I'm talking about. <laughs> right? Let me see. Uh, let me go to the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 4 and verse 37 says, Now I never shall nerves of praise and extol and honor the king of heaven, all whose works are truth and his ways judgment, and those that walk in pride he is able to abase, meaning humble. And these folk going to get humble, humble real soon. The humbling process is already started, man. Look, a lot of people are tripping because of the Roe v. Wade thing, right? But if you can't recall, it may they may still have had a video up. I don't know if they took it down or not. They stay taking down, you know, my videos and striking me and things of such. But if you can recall, I, I brought out, I brought out proof that these individuals have been dying more than they have been born. This has been going on. So, the number of them are on the decline as well. That's why they're trying to stop that. That's why they're trying to stop abortions from being legal. Because they are on the decline. And this is all spiritual, man. This is all the most high. Right? What do we read in the book of Obadiah? Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. All right? This is all the Most High is doing. And it's a beautiful thing if I don't, if, if, if I do say so myself. <laughs> all right? It's a beautiful thing what we're witnessing. But just know it's going to get worse, man. They're going to start, like, like I said, they understand what time they in and they understand that they getting backed into a corner. And when you back a wild beast into a corner, that nigga get violent. So it's coming, right? But at the end of the day, just understand this is the this is the fall of the proud. That's all. So let him let him book, let him do whatever it is he gonna do, because at the end of the day, he gonna end up basically ended, right? Ended and humbled, humbled and ended rather. Let me go to the book of Second Maccabees. In the Apocrypha, chapter 7, and uh, verse 36, says, For our brethren, who now have suffered a short pain, are dead under power's covenant of everlasting life. But thou, through the judgment of power, shalt receive just punishment for thy pride. All right? Just punishment for thy pride. All right. Now, this is speaking about um, the seven brothers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me see. If I'm not mistaken, I think it is. All right. But either way it go. For the hurt that this devil has placed upon the most high's people, they got to suffer. They will have punishment for their pride. All right? And finally, let me go to the book of Obadiah to basically reiterate. Um, Obadiah or Slot. Let's see. 
the book of Obadiah, verse 10. It says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Right? You're going to get your ass humbled down. You're going to get your ass put in servitude, hard bondage, hard bondage. And then ultimately, there will be no more you. Right? The thought of you is going to be a distant memory until you are no more. Right? And it's well deserved. You have poisoned and destroyed the air, the water, the greenery, men, women, and children. Your whole culture is a culture of lies, deceits, and death. You bring nothing but pain everywhere you go. These are facts. Now, I know a lot of people feeling is going to get hurt by this, but it's the truth. It is what it is. Check history, man. Check the present. Right? And at the end of the day, righteous judgment is coming your way. And you see it, but you just can't explain it. All right? It's just like when Never Chad Nelson had them dreams. And he could not figure out what it stood for. What did it mean? Right in the book of in the book of Daniel. Couldn't understand what them dreams meant. So we called up all of his astrologers, magicians, called up all of these so called wise men. And nobody could understand what the dream meant. He was going to put all of the wise men to death. Right? Nobody could understand till they called on that man of the Lord. Till they called on Daniel. Daniel prayed to Yahweh. Yahweh gave Daniel the understanding. And that understanding was made known. This is the understanding of what's going on in this earth today. This is the decline of Edom's um, um, rulership, the decline of Edom's kingdom. All right? Many, many tekel, bro. You are at the end and you have been found wanting. All right? So, all praise your Hawaii Shimmy Hawaii Shah for that. Because it's long overdue. All right? Matter of fact, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Find this precept right quick. Uh, mm, it's a lot. Okay. Uh, this is Ezekiel 35. And um, from the top, now I end with this. It says, Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, which is Edom. Right? Notice these individuals love to be in mountains. Right? Love to be in caves. Right? Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, those are caves. These are cave dwellers that we're speaking on. Right? It says, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus saith Yahweh power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Right? I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. That word perpetual means never ending. So, yeah, it may look like you good in here. We, we can do things that we couldn't do back in the day. We can sleep with who we want to, and we can go where we want to go. We don't have, okay, it may look that way, but it's not that way. Systematically, it's not that way, right? Our people love to go on individuals that they made it. Now, we ain't talking about the individual. We're talking about collectively, right? But it says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. This is long overdue what's happening to you. 
right? You were supposed to be made amends, but you you not doing so, and you refuse to do so. So the Most High says this to you. It says, therefore, as I live, says the Howard Power, I will prepare thee unto blood, right? And blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, and even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai These precepts in this video were edifying. Call Haloyim Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai Bahashim Harakakudash Shalawam Yashallah.